Hey everybody, we're going to do a pour today and try out all these strainers. I haven't done this yet, so we're going to experiment. Remember to put tacks on the bottom of your canvases. I put my tacks right inside of the little seam. It just makes it easier to put it in and you don't crack your wood that way. The tacks just helps you wipe off the edges underneath to keep big drips from drying on there. I use basic acrylics from Michaels. You can get them for 40% off. And my mix is one part Floetrol and one part acrylic. I also use white all-purpose glue as my medium. I do one part glue, one part acrylic. I add 20% to 30% water. I have this a little thick. I don't want my strainer, when I pour the paint through it, to run everywhere. So I'm going to go a little thick with this coat. I'm not going to worry about my edges right now. When this dries, go ahead and paint them. Each strainer is different. Thickness. I got all these strainers on Amazon in one package. It was like $11 for all these. So that was very good. This one had a little thing in the middle. I'm going to pull that out. It stuck out and, and that would have kept that from sitting down flat. So we're going to remove that. I'm going to try this one first in the middle. As you can see, I'm just putting it around the edges, not too much in the middle. My black being thick is keeping this from really running and keeping my colors together. You can't see that yet, but it's looking very good. Okay, we're going to let that run out, then we'll lift it up. I don't want that flower much bigger than that. This is a flat one. We're going to see what it does different than this one. I don't see where it will do anything too much different. I'm going to cut this little tabby off. I don't want that sitting in my paint messing with it. I'm just going to let that drain out. I'm going to try this one now. It has skinnier sides. We'll see how that does. You got to let this slowly drain out because when you pick this up, the paint in here could distort everything you're, you're doing right here. It's amazing what this is doing. I love this. So far I like this one the best, but I'm not sure until I pick them up what I'm going to like the best. I pushed this through and as you can see a bunch of bubbles came through with it doing that, so you don't want to do that. You need to let it just do its thing and not interfere with it some reason they don't want to go through right here like it does everywhere else. I'm not sure what that is. That one's doing really pretty too. There, this one isn't doing much. It might do its thing when we lift it up. It's drip, drifting towards the middle so I'm going to put something up under here. I us, usually use a baking pan. actually scared to lift these up. <laughs> this one's beautiful so far. So, where this doesn't make it really ugly, you will soak some of this paint out. Okay, let's pull this up and see what we got. 
either going to destroy it or it'll look great. stuff more controlled so I did this one part glue one part heavy body acrylic and about 10% water when you lift up there is a lot of air bubbles you can get them with your thing I'm using there's no silicone in this this is natural cells. Lots of air bubbles. I'm using a toothpick to get my little swirls. When your black paint on the bottom is thick, you can use it to get a lot more designs. Runny, it doesn't let you do this as well. Be sure and wipe your toothpick off each time. Get my edges painted black. I'll be done. I'm going to number each strainer on how it did. This one's the best. I like this one the best, so this one's going to be one. This one didn't do bad, so I'm going to have it as two. This one in the middle, that's going to be three. This one will be four, and this one will be five. Hope you enjoyed.